strawberries in it. Marissa, would you grab me a banana over there? Mm -hmm. And you know those bananas are great for dipping into the yogurt too. Do you want me to cut some off? Uh, so I'm just going to stick this whole thing in here. And some blueberries. My hands are clean. <laughs> what I need is the Nutriveris. Do you mind handing me that? Thank you, Elsa. Well, how's it going, Melanie? This is my new neighbor, Melanie. She just moved in Hello. this summer from Tennessee. So welcome, a new Texan. <laughs> We're making smoothies. You want to come see? Yeah. And that was two scoops of nutrient. Y'all can get closer. <laughs> Please do. So I just wanted to show you how easy it is. And uh, you can make it with juice or my family likes the almond milk. I get the unsweetened vanilla kind. Put a little bit in there, or however much you like, depending on consistency. Let's pick a bit more in. You doing all right? I am. Yeah. It's good to see you. Okay, a little more. The this is what makes it the purple monster. The blueberries. We call it Purple Monster and kids like it. <laughs> That's right. It works. The blender dance. The blender dance. <laughs> I like to shake it up a little bit. The Nutriverse kind of sticks there sometimes. All right, let's try it. You game? Mm -hmm. There's no, no, I didn't add the protein to this one, but you certainly could. The Osaline protein would be a great mix with this. Try that out, Melanie. Mm, Melanie, next to you here is, is my friend Cindy, who I know through B&I. She put in our fancy security alarm system recently. That's good. Keep this over here. Elsa? She's a new friend of my mom, or she's not a new friend, she's a new friend of me, she's a friend of my mom. That's and good. Marissa, mm -hmm. who is helping out here, we just met. <laughs> yes, And she's did. totally my sous chef. <laughs> <laughs> she's a friend of Lizzie, who I know through my sister-in-law, mm -hmm. Demra, who's the photographer mm -hmm. over there. Mm -hmm. uh, oh, that is good. Mm -hmm. that, right? It's very good. It's very good. Lizzie, here's for you. And y'all don't get too full. Maybe I should have made it a little. <laughs> smaller because I want you to try them all they're all so good all right why don't you show all the stuff we got going on here and then I'm gonna pull out some hummus do y'all like hummus yeah mm -hmm. I have no. never tried hummus before oh no. it's amazing wow I figured there would be at least one person hummus is a beautiful thing is that this good? is probably the best way that I know to sneak nutrition in my uh, my kids Mm -hmm. uh, into their lunches and stuff. And they'll I've eat heard a lot of people tell me how good hummus is. Um, right, let's check on the pizza. Mm. My husband said, I thought you were having an extreme food makeover. And I said, yes, I am. Why do you say that? He said, what's the pizza about? Mm. Are y'all wondering too what the pizza's <laughs> about? I'm assuming it's I'm a sure it's pizza. Gonna be good <laughs> you know what? It's just a pizza from Aldi. Y'all familiar with Aldi? Y'all uh -huh. go there. Yeah. Love that place. Well, um, I don't know if this is healthy. I doubt it. <laughs> but the extreme food makeover part is showing us how we can take whatever we're eating. Because I know you guys are eating this. So am I. My family just adores pizza. So you just take whatever you're eating and make it healthier. You can have a little less long guilt anyway. <laughs> <laughs> okay, so we're going to take... Um, this is the Nutriverse so I just put in the shaker. I got it. Oh, what's the name of that store? Bed Bath Beyond. Oh yeah. And uh, they sell them for a dollar. I just shake it. It makes it easier to shake it on top and just have it on your table and have it ready anytime. Lizzie, why don't you do a close up here? I did. I zoomed in. You can really see it at first, and then in a minute here, it's going to kind of absorb in. And if you got picky eaters, you might want to put this on when they're not looking. 
<laughs> yeah, and then my family just knows that, you know, if they're going to get pizza, they're going to get it with this on top, so no need to complain because then there's no pizza if they complain. And but your kids have never noticed it or anything? No, they have. Oh, they have? But when I first started giving it to them, I would put it on top and then just, hey guys, come on in. Just smash it down a little bit and it just kind of blends in a little bit better if you... Then it goes right in with the pepper. Put, in yeah, the then it just looks like a little seasoning. And then if you sprinkle some Parmesan on the top, then you cannot see it at all. <laughs> you could even mix it into the Parmesan and let them sprinkle it and they'd never know. Yeah. So we're making over our foods. Yeah. Come on in, you guys. Hi. Well, Cindy, I know you know Rusty. Do you, have you met his wife, Elaine? Hi. Nice to meet you. And this is their youngest, Caden. Hi, <laughs> Well, first, I'm, I'm going to put the Nutrivirus in the hummus here. I should have done this do before y'all got here, but I guess it's okay for you to see my little sneaky thing that I'm doing. So, what does that do for me? The Nutrivirus? Mm -hmm. Well, we're about to sit down and learn all about it. Okay. But the basics of it is that it's going to make your food uh, just powered up with nutrition because it's got so much nutrition in it mm -hmm. with vitamins and minerals and antioxidants, glycanutrients. Also fruits and veggies, and uh, in something like this, you cannot even taste it. I should get a different fork for each one of them because they're different colors. <laughs> <laughs> I saw this cute little thing at Target where they've got the trio. I've never seen that before. So they just take the same hummus but blend it in different ways and make different flavors. So there's yeah, um. Who is? Are you? I am. Good. Well, there's tons of it here. I'm glad you are because I was like, I hope they like hummus. I'm buying a ton of it. Um, all right, Elaine, you could be, be the first then. Because uh, here's your favorite hummus. Grab, in, grab a chip here. These are veggie chips and Benito chips, but you can use whatever chips you want. And I'm going to stick it right over here. So, let's see. You can put it on a plate or you can just dip right in. I've tried two different kinds of Okay, this time we took some pineapple and some banana behind Elsa over there. And we took coconut extract and some Nutriveris and Osoline. And we blended it all together. And we're trying it out for the first time. Pina colada. Virgin, anyway. <laughs> what do y'all think? I'm sorry, not it smells no, good. I'm mixing, I've got a, it is very good. Yeah? And I'm not a big coconut fan, but it's really it's subtle, kind of. Like yeah. yeah. The Reese's peanut butter cup one. But I'm making it with sun butter because I didn't know if y'all had peanut allergies. Y'all ever heard of sun butter? I have not, actually. It's just made from sunflower seeds. Oh, okay. And it's got more nutrition than peanut butter. A little more expensive, too. So. I don't do it all the time, but especially if I have friends that have peanut allergies I'm doing this for, this is a good alternative. Almond butter is a good alternative too, but I think it gets a little thick. What do you think of putting like Nutella in there? Do you think well, Nutella could be a good option? Nutella is not very um, healthy, Oh, okay. but I, I, I just tried a new product from Target just yesterday called Justin's Hazelnut Butter, mm -hmm. and it's and it's flavored with chocolate. Okay. And so that would be a good Nutella alternative. Okay. My so mom's obsessed with Nutella, so that's oh, why. Oh, there you go. I was we'll thinking if I. Brand. Yeah, I'll have to go look at that yeah. for sure. So we got sun butter, ice, banana. I'm gonna put some Oso Lean in here for some sculpted whey protein. Um, let's see, Nutribaris, of course. bulk up your nutrition and we need some milk. I'm using unsweetened vanilla almond milk and then the, for the chocolate flavor I'm using Glycoslim meal replacement drink mm -hmm. and uh, so this can be a meal replacement or if you just drink a little bit it can be mm -hmm. like dessert. I think that this, since there's so many of you guys I'm going to add another banana. What's 
she say that about? The whole picnic, the whole experience. She's the whole like, oh, thing. This is amazing. This is amazing. <laughs> That's awesome. We do this every Saturday. Every Saturday. This is fun, huh? She's like, no, we don't. Me and Mommy do that. Did y'all get some pizza too? Yeah. Okay, here we go. Reese's peanut butter cup smoothie. I think I need some more milk. It's kind of bulky. It's a thick one with the sun butter in there. Do y'all ever use almond milk? Yeah, all almond milk. Oh, good. Got more nutrition than cow milk anyway, but that's okay. So I'm just gonna get it off the edge. It's kind of stuck to the edge, and I think it's ready. Hey guys, here comes the Reese's peanut butter cup. It's a. It's kind of like dessert, so. Have your dessert before you finish lunch, I guess, or, or you can wait. Thank you, Mom. I really appreciate that. Did y'all try the yogurt, too? I, I have not yet. I don't think anybody has just you know, yet. Yogurt would be a good thing to put in here instead of almond milk. Mm -hmm. Put the vanilla flavored yogurt in here. Are you done? Do they want Okay. Do you want to Okay. All right, did everybody get some? Because I'd be glad to make some more. Wow, that's good. Sophie, look at Miss Nice. She's over there. What do you think? Was that good? Yeah. It was good. <laughs> hey, Rodney. Good to see you. What do you think, Rodney? Well, I was late to the party, but it's, you're never too late when you come to Marvel's house. It's a great time. It's a great time. Is the food good? Oh, the food's great. Oh, good. Yeah, I got wonderful cucumbers, fresh cucumbers. We got all kinds of blueberries and strawberries and raspberries and all kinds of peanut butter. And I'm glad you like it. Yeah, it's great. Thanks it's for wonderful. coming. Thank you. Enjoy it. Railing that you can walk up to and you can Re Rusty, what do you think? But most of well, I'm going back for there are no railings. Yeah, right what are you, you going to get this time? And well, I probably some different kind of pizza because I already had that one pizza twice uh -huh. and the hummus <laughs> twice. So, uh -huh. uh, yeah. Get you some veggies. Yeah, well. You know that's amazing that uh, you can have the the pizza with the with your powder on it, and I don't notice any difference, but I know it's good for me in the back of my mind. So I'm gonna go eat some more and be good for you. Good for you. Yeah. <laughs> good for you. And we got into like the first on look part and having some good conversation. Minutes, and I was just like, oh, okay. Lizzie, thanks so much for helping out. Absolutely. What do you think about the Nutrivarius on your food? I love it in my food, and my kids ate the cheese pizza with no palms at all. Yeah. And that's my favorite thing to do is put it. I put it in their drinks in the morning. I put it in everything. I know they're getting good nutrition. That's well, very important. I have been real busy. And yeah, what have you noticed I'm with their with their health or your own health? Cognition, better listening, able to slow down better. Um, yeah. Just, just. Um, I don't know, they just seem healthier and happier, and cognition is where I noticed it the most. We noticed it when we started cutting out, um, you know, processed foods and artificial dyes and stuff like that. They were able to focus better, Yeah. Um, and now it's just getting better and better and better, you know. Now that we know Flintstones vitamins, which I know you're going to show right. me later, are not the healthiest thing to give your kids. And we started giving them nutrition yeah. plants like the Nutribarius. Great.